Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make titles from uh, packets. So I'm going to be showing you guys this in 1.12. Uh, so I'm just going to fill out all this stuff. Alright, so first of all, we're just going to start out with the command. So I'm just going to register the command. And I'll set up the command in here. Alright, so now I'm just going to make the class for the command. And the same thing as usual, implements command executor, and then use the uh, method for commands. Alright, so first we're going to test for the argument length. So I'm going to say, um, if argument is greater than, uh, we'll just say 1 for now. So what we can do here is we can make different strings with the argument. So we can start by making, um, actually first we're going to start by checking if the first argument's a player because what we want to do is we want to send the uh, packet, the title packet to whatever player is specified in the argument of the command. So I'm going to make a player uh, called target and then we're going to get that target uh, through bucket.getPlayer um, args and then this is probably just going to be args zero since if you do slash like title space the player's name that's going to be the argument zero so now we're going to say if target is equal to null then we're just going to uh then we're going to get the player i guess actually i should do that first so for right now i'm just going to make it so that uh only a player can put in the command but later on i'll make it so that um console can put it in too and i'll show you how i'll do that later uh yes i mix them up so uh, here we're just going to do player.sendMessage, chat color dot red, um, and we're going to send the message um, arg0. So this is the player that they put in, and then we'll say arg0 is not a player. So what this is doing is it's testing, it's getting the player from the argument 0, and if target or the player is equal to null, then it's going to send the uh, sender a message saying that the player that they put in is not a player. Alright, so now that we know that target is a player, we're going to start making the uh, packet. So we're going to get the player connection first. So we're going to do player connection. Uh, oh, alright, so one thing you need to do, uh, if you haven't done this already, when you're doing, when you're working with uh, bucket packets, you actually have to uh, install the bucket library, or the craft bucket library, not just the spigot library that's automatically done when you use the um, IntelliJ plugin. Alright, so I'm going to go into my repositories and get bucket um, for 1.12, or craft bucket actually, so it's craft bucket 1.12, and just import that into here, and now we'll see, we'll have um, the methods we need, right, player connection, there we go. So since we're getting uh, player connection from the net.minecraft, we actually have to make our target an instance of a craft player so how we're going to do that is we're going to do craft player and then we're going to do target dot get player so now what this does is this basically turns our regular player our like spigot player into an instance of a craft player so once we have the connection of the player now we have to start making the iChat base component so what that basically is is like a fancy type string so it it's like kind of it can seem advanced and like hard at first but it's actually pretty easy once you do it enough times so we're going to do text um the variable text is a chat based component and we're going to do chat serializer dot a and so this is where it gets kind of complicated so normally you'd think like okay so this is where i just put the string so this is what the title is going to be so it's actually a little more complicated than that. So first we're going to start out with quotation marks, actually double quotes, like a normal string. Then we're going to do uh, an open bracket, squiggly bracket, and then we're going to do two, uh, like, single quotation marks, single quotes. And then we're going to inside put text, and then outside of those, like, that text thing, this right here, we're going to put a colon. So after this colon right here, we're going to put... Um, uh, another single quotation marks a set of single quotation marks and then inside of that set of quotation marks we're going to put two more um double quotes so it looks a little bit like this now so inside of these quotation marks is where we'll put our actual string so what we do here is um we'd put plus 
uh, this and then we'd put our string here so this is what the title will be so we'll put title but that's we obviously want it to be the title that the player specifies so now here is uh, the part where we get the title from the command arguments so first we're gonna make a new string builder uh, we're just gonna call it SB so now we're gonna make a forever loop um, we're gonna do forever uh, in I equals one I well i is greater than args dot length um i plus plus so what the i represents is how many arguments are dedicated to um the title so the reason we're starting out with i equals one and not like i equals zero or something is because our first argument is actually uh, a player name so we are going to start at the argument length one because if we started at zero then our string or our um, our title would actually include the player's name so the way we're going to take our string builder that we made earlier and apply it to our arguments is we're going to take the string builder and then we're going to do string builder dot append args um, and then in this case it's going to be args i so if we just kept it at this all it would do is take the string builder and make it say like all of their arguments in one word so the way we're going to separate that is to do args i plus and then we're going to just put a space here in uh, quotation marks so what this will do is this will take every argument and it'll take the args i and it will add a space so let's say in the string we put hello what's your name then uh, what this would do without this right here it would actually just look like hi what's your name all together but since we have the space here it's going to take every single argument that they put in and put a space in between it so now what we can do with the string builder is we can apply it to an actual string so the reason we're going to do this i'll show you in a second so first we're going to apply this to a string so we're going to call this um title uh or title string i guess just to not get confused uh title equals sb dot two string dot trim so what this will do here is this will take off all of the extra space so if you think about it too uh on the last argument so it'll be like let's show this example again hi what's your name what it'll do is it'll add a space in everything but it'll also add a space at the end so if we want the title to be centered it's not going to because it's going to have this extra space at the end so when we do dot trim it takes off any extra spaces at the beginning or the end of strings so it'll, it would take off these two in this example but in our case it's just going to take off this last uh, space there so now we have a string that is basically like our title at this point but now the reason we're turning it into a string mainly is so that we can make a color so we're gonna make string color and chat color oh so we're gonna do chat color dot translate alternate color code so what this is going to do is this is going to take any symbol that we want and it's going to look for that in this string right here so if it finds that character that we tell it so right now we're just going to do and because that's usually what's like associated with color so when it, if it finds the symbol and anywhere in our string it will look for the character right after that and if it sees that the character is a character that can be used in a chat color, then it'll take that text and put it into a chat color. So we're going to do and as the symbol. And then uh, we're going to do title string as the string that it's going to apply to. So, oh wait, this is also a character, so we got to put it in single quotes. So now we, our uh, full title or our basic title is going to be this now we can refer to the string title when we want to do that so what we're going to do up here is instead of writing our own text in the string we're going to write title and now um our i chat based component is now assigned to the title but we got to add some extra stuff uh back here to finish it off so after we have our string here uh we have these quotes and this one um single quote so right after the single quote here we're going to put just a closing squiggly bracket and that's it now we have our uh, i chat base component all done that should basically be the hardest part of it um 
so yeah now we're going to actually make our packet that we're going to send to the player so what we're going to do we're going to type in packet play out and you'll see we have a ton of packets that we could do here um you could look these up but they all do a ton of cool stuff uh but it can get pretty hard sometimes so we're just going to stick with packet play out title so we're just going to call this packet and we're going to do new packet play out title packet play out title dot um enum title action and we're going to do dot and then these are all the stuff we can do so like here we can do action bar if we wanted to if we didn't want a title but instead wanted an action bar but for now we're just going to stick with title so now what we're going to do it's we're going to define it as a title first then we're going to get the text or the i chat based component then we're going to do the fade in time the time it's staying in and the fade out time so this is uh, all in ticks and what I found out by a lot of testing is um, the fade in time is like usually can be whatever you want but the duration if you put it over I think it's about 80 to 85 it won't go above that so we can put it at 100 but you'd still only see it for like 80 to 85 ticks I haven't figured out the exact number but I know it's something around there so there's no point of putting it above there if you wanted to do something more complicated you could do like a forever loop that only runs a specific amount of times uh, except with titles it can get a little bit tricky because you can't really take out the fade in so I guess that wouldn't really be an option so it's really you're really limited to that um, 80 tick time so that's fine so we made the title now the packet title and now all that's left is to send the packet to the player so we're gonna get the players connection by connection and we're gonna do that send packet pretty simple and then we're gonna send the packet and now at this point we can do like player dot send message you can we could do like target dot get name to get the player's name that was sent the packet we could do player name was sent the title comma um, and I'll just do title so it'll just tell the uh, command sender that they sent this player this title and I can actually now run it if I didn't forget anything this should just work um, and yeah I'll finish this up oh where's the error um, oh yeah I forgot to register the bucket dependency in my XML so we're gonna do org dot bucket and then we're gonna do craft bucket 1.12.2 oh, actually I think I got 1.12.1 there we go and now we should be able to do this yep there we go so I'm gonna get the plugin and let me put this in my server and I'll see you in a second All right, so I just found out what the issue was, and it's actually because um, I, this like method of doing packets and iChat based components um, only works from 1.8 to 1.11.2. So uh, just like if you're going to do this, uh, just know that it's only compatible with 1.8.8 or just I, I guess 1.8 through 1.11. So just know that any other version it will not work. That's why it wasn't working when I was trying to do 1.12.2. So if I go into my 1.8 server um, and drag it into there instead of my 1.14 server or 1.12 server, um, now this should work. All right, so now if I go onto my server here and then I do slash packet title cool mic hi, it actually pops up with hi, and then it also works and it also says uh, cool mic was sent. Actually, I guess sent. That's fine. Um, but now it says cool Mike was sent the title hi and then I can also do since we did that color thing I can do n4 and it'll pop up red same with this and now we can also test multiple string with the string builder so I can do hi what's my name and it'll pop up as the title okay so now that we know that works I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this plugin and then show you guys when it's all done all right so now that I'm finished with this plugin uh, I'll show you guys a little bit what I added so first of all I added that if the argument length is zero then it'll tell the uh, sender that the usage is that so one trick I like to do for all my plugins 
is if the command is allowed to be sent by both the console and a player then instead of checking instead of doing if um sender instance of player and then so like if it's not um which basically just makes a whole bunch of like unnecessary like duplicated code because you have to do you have to make the code for the instance of the console and the instance of the player uh so instead what i like to do is make a static uh method in just another class um called tell and the input is a sender which is the command sender here which you already have when you're making a command and then a message so this is what you want to tell them and it's just a simple string so it's fine and then inside of the method i do if the sender is an instance of a player then you'll do player dot send message and it'll send them this message from the string oh, and if it's and if it's not uh and if sender isn't an instance of the player, instead of doing player.send message, it sends the console the message. So that just makes it so much easier and so much like tidier. And obviously this isn't as neat as I can make this, but um, it's still a lot better than two duplicated codes just with uh, like some changes. So another thing I added was that if arg0 is equal to star, then it will make target um, equal every single player in the game so if you want to send like let's say you want to send a title to everyone you put in star uh and then it'll send it to everyone um just because it doesn't do that automatically it'll just say star is not a player if that does that so uh let's see um it does all that and then down here i also have to make another check so if it's star then instead of saying you sent um like and then it'll list all the players was sent the title instead it says everyone was sent the title if it detects that you put star as the first argument um and that's pretty much it i think yep that's all that i added i can also add a starting message so i can get console sender send message chat color dot aqua i'll just say packet uh titles started and that's pretty much the entire plugin so i'm just gonna go ahead and run this and show you the finished product in the game so first i'm going to type in the command slash packet title just to make sure that, yep so no arguments is working then i'll just do player okay so i also got to do a check for that but it should just be fine uh but yeah so if i do player and then i'll send a message and it'll work cool mike was sent the message that um get that creeper down there so i'll do slash uh packet title and then I'll do star high then everyone was sent the title high and that works and so I'll just quickly add that one check else if args dot length is equal to one then tell sender check color and I'll just copy this usage over here and then I'll also say else I didn't do that before I guess I'll just do else because now it has to be greater than one so that's basically the uh, whole plugin I hope you guys enjoyed it and I uh, hope you learned something so what's up guys I hope you liked that video by Mike he's a um, fan of the channel I guess and he submitted a video um, I put a thing in the discord where people can sit, do video submissions if they want to and Mike's was Mike was the first one to submit a video and it was a really good video so if you like this video and if you want to see more videos like this, then go ahead and uh, like the video. Um, and also, all the code from today's episode that he made is going to be in a GitHub in the description below. So make sure you check that out if you want to for all the code. And yeah, so if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe and peace.